Hey YouTube, I thought I would just do a quick video. I'm gonna do a what's sold video. It's not gonna be like everyone else does it with the video as they pack and things like that because I've already packed everything. It's an afterthought, uh, just cause I'm bored. I wanted to show you what's sold on you know eBay for me from March 23rd to March 29th, which was the last week. And I have screenshots and I can tell you a little bit about how I got the item, stuff like that, but I don't actually have a video. So in the background, I'm going to run some video from our last camping trip in October of 2019. This is way before Corona was a thing. This is old video footage just to have something in the background to make it more interesting or just something fun, just to see a little bit of nature. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. We're not going out right now. We're here in the house. Anyway, I'm um, just going to basically put the pictures up. And show you what's sold from March 23rd to the 29th, which was last week, up until Sunday, which was yesterday. Um, I think it's like 20 items. And basically, I haven't done listing. I haven't done much listing. So I'm pretty impressed that this actually sold, especially during everything that's going on right now. I'm very grateful for the sales. Anyway, uh, we'll start with March 23rd. Von Ryan's Express Blu-ray. It's a... Um, Older movie, I think it has, uh, what's his name, Frank Sinatra in it, I think so. Uh, but it's on Blu-ray, it was unopened, brand new, I got it in an auction uh, a few weeks ago. Had a TV and a Blu-ray player and a bunch of DVDs and stuff like that. $15 plus shipping, I was very impressed with that. Uh, next up is Bulbrite Half Gold Bulbs, a set of three. And I found these actually at Goodwill few weeks ago, maybe about a month ago or so. It's my last trip to Goodwill. And uh, they had like five sets of three. And it was like two bucks for each set. And I was like, hey, let me just check them out. And each one was selling for like six bucks or so, I think it was. And I was like, well, if I loaded them together and I charged $20, $19.99, that would be, that'd be worth it. So I grabbed them all. There was five sets of three. I've got like 15. This is the first one that sold. And it wasn't too bad. I, I got, like, uh, I have to look up what the shipping is. I'll put it on the screen if I got it. But anyway, I made a, a decent profit. It's not nothing great, of course, you know, whatever. Next up, Vintage GE Clock Radio. Got this at the last garage sale I went to. Um, I sold it for $12.99 plus shipping. I went a little lower because it does have a little bit of, um, like, the paint, like, silver paint was kind of removed a little bit and actually i was trying to clean it up with alcohol because it's pretty dusty and that kind of came up a little bit i was like oh no can't do that so went a little lower on that 12.99 plus shipping i'm happy with it. it actually went to dallas which is you know i'm in fort worth so no big deal i think it was like seven dollars to ship it whatever uh okay on the 24th blade storm for ps3 the 100 years war sold for 9.99 that was actually a global shipping so i have no idea what they paid for shipping but my shipping was free $9.99. I just got the email this morning, actually, March 30th, that it made it to uh, the Global Shipping Center. So, it was processed, so that's kind of backed up, but whatever. Um, okay, next up, same day, Nintendo Wii Rock Band Set. And it was a wired rock band set. I think it was a wireless guitar and a wired drum set. And I got $65 plus shipping. The buyer was in at $136.92. And for me, uh, it was terrible. This thing was a pain in the butt to pack. I have never had such a problem with that. I didn't have any problem with, uh, I've sold, you know, rock band sets before, but for some reason, this one just was terrible. I had to Frankenbox two Walmart boxes together, two large ones. And I didn't have much space, and so I just had to wrestle it. And it took me like almost an hour to pack this thing. So I think if I list these in the future, I'm going to go ahead and pack them ahead of time and just put them on the shelf packed. Because that was just too much. I was in a hurry, too. So Anyway, $65 plus shipping. Not too bad. Um, I did invest in some drumsticks. They're not rock band, rock band ones. But I got a three-pack from Amazon for $9.99. And I had two different rock band sets with drum kits. So I've got one left up there. So, you know, that's not too bad. I got the whole rock band set at a garage sale for 20 bucks, And that was, like, almost a year ago. And it just sat around. I never listed it. So whatever finally listed it about a month and a half ago somewhere in there and it just sold on the 24th so anyway uh next thing is a vintage sawyer rotomatic slide projector i got this at an estate sale it was probably 
January sometime. Um, it's an estate sale. I went to it specifically. I remember this because I got rat pee on my hands in their garage and I was freaking out and I bought a case of antibacterial wipes just to get it off my hands. So now I have a case of antibacterial wipes, which is great considering the situation now. Anyway, I got it and there was a whole bunch of stuff on there and the guy was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if it works or not. I said, well, would you take five for both of these? And he goes, yeah, sure. So I got two for two of them for five dollars, and I got another one that's a bigger projector that actually did work. He gave me that for five bucks too, so that's great. So anyway, I just listed that like probably a week before it sold because it was just sitting around because it needed it was really intricate, needed a lot of cleaning and stuff. So I was lazy and I put it on the back burner. It was in the death pile, and then finally I was like, okay, I've got to get this listed. It's in my way. So I got it listed, got it shipped. Uh, $39.99 plus shipping. Buyer was all in at $72.28. And I made a little bit on shipping on that one, but because I had such a hard time shipping that day, I just kept it. I know that's not exactly the greatest thing to do, but you know what? Sometimes you need to just take some handling fee. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, next up, same day I got, or I sold... A new women's uniform scrub top in olive green. It was 6XL. And uh, I got a whole bunch of these from an auction. Paid $10 for the auction. And I think there was like 10, 10 tops in there. I got some pants of different colors and things like that too. I paid 30 bucks total for everything. There's three lots of them. Um, basically, I paid $10 per lot. I got $19.99 free shipping on this. So I've kind of made my money back on the one scrub top. I know they're going to be slow movers, but I do believe it'll be worth it in the end. So, pretty happy with that. Uh, March 25th. Uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, the caster wheels. Okay. Four, four large, uh, two inch by four inch V-groove cast iron caster wheels. I got these at a state sale. It's right at a year now. It was last March. And this guy was just, he was basically giving stuff away you just wanted to clean the stuff out and this is actually when i bought the trailer that we have which i've never shown on instagram or just anywhere but i bought a homemade trailer to pull behind to basically haul stuff back and forth from auctions and everything this guy sold me the trailer for 150 dollars and i bought hinges and i bought all just all sorts of things and i didn't spend much money at all these specific caster wheels, I think I got for $4. And when I first listed them, I had them at like $75. And I've slowly brought them down over time because people have watched them, but interested, but they've never actually just offered anything for them. They never bought them. Whatever. Finally, they sold for $35.99 plus shipping. And I managed to ship them in a large flat rate box. I probably used a large flat rate box maybe two or three times the entire time I've been doing eBay. This was one of them. It was weird. Anyway, so they're finally gone. They're heavy. I've stubbed my toes on them like a million times. I don't know if I would ever do that again, but I do actually have another set of them. So probably will be doing that again because I have them. So whatever. Don't know if I'd buy them again. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so same day. Sold a auto manual. Haynes Tech Book. What does that say? Carburetor manual. Something. I don't know. This is a buy that my husband did. He paid $500 for 250 plus auto manuals, and they're older. Some of them are older, some of them are not. I was really not too happy at the time when he did that. It was about a year ago, but I have made more than $500 back, I know, and I still have more than half of them left to sell. So it works out, but it's just very heavy and very time consuming. So got $11 plus shipping for that. Uh, let's see. March 26th. Mario Party N64. I got $44.99 plus shipping. It was an original game that I bought when I was a teenager. So, yeah. Not too much to say about that one. <laughs> Just sold for $44.99. Uh, okay, so Haynes Chrysler Manual. Another auto manual. $9.99 plus shipping. Or no, free shipping. Sorry about that. I only, uh, only have $2 into each one of these, so free shipping is not that bad. Um... Anyway, March 27th, uh, Super Mario Maker Wii U for $16.99 with free shipping. And that's pretty much the only sale last Friday, I believe it was. Yeah, Friday. Uh, March 28th, I got an offer for 
a Connects lot that I've had. I bought this at a garage sale. Actually, it's two different garage sales. And I paid $1.50 at one, and I believe it was a dollar at the other. And it was two different sets. One of them was from the 90s, that uh, roller coaster set. I believe it was the 90s. Um, it was a big set. It's really valuable still if it's all together, but this is actually missing about 10 pieces, so I had to price it lower. But I have like $2.50 into both of them. One of them is also a helicopter set, so it has the manuals, it has a bunch of track, it has all kinds of things. I got $29 plus shipping. It was an offer. I had it for $35. Someone offered $29.99. I said, sure, it's been sitting there a year. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, the next is Railvac Lanterns. It's little light bulbs for flashlights. And I got this little box. It's a Home Depot box full of brand new Railvac light bulbs for flashlights. I think I got it for $10 at an auction. And I have made so much money on these light bulbs. It's just ridiculous. This is one of my favorite things. I love this kind of stuff. Um, I've got a price at $3.99 plus shipping. And that doesn't seem like much. But the first two orders, I think, that I got paid for the auction. Since then, I have made a lot of sales. A couple of them have been like almost 100 bucks worth of sales for flashlight light bulbs. And they come in little, you know, in little display cards. Basically, they're already boxed, so it's really simple. But anyway, this one was one singular sale, which kind of is weird, but whatever. Uh, next one is Stanley Pivot Hinges. This, again, is another product that I got around the same time at auction. I think I paid like $20 for the lot, $20 or $30 for the lot of hinges. It was a pallet of hinges and boxes, and I'm talking hundreds of each kind. I've got like 500 and something of one kind, 500 of another kind and drawer handles and stuff. I paid like 30 bucks for it. And again, another thing I've made hundreds and hundreds of dollars on. I just love it. But anyway, this particular sale, I got um, $51.98 with free shipping. It's four sets of them. Each set comes with, you know, two pair. So basically a pair of them for $51.98. And the shipping was, I sent them in a padded flat rate. So $7. <laughs> Uh, next up is Forza Horizon, disc only, $9.99 plus shipping. Uh, I got this for $0.50 cents at a garage sale because it was two games in one box and, you know, they said a dollar. So, hey, not bad. Uh, next up is another Rayovac Lantern sale. They bought 15 packages of them for $59.85 plus shipping. That's amazing. I'm just like, it just sits there. For, it'll go forever, like two months with no sales, and all of a sudden, $59. Hello. Ameristar Latch Set. That's the next up. Uh, my fifth time returning customer, he's been doing this weekly for five weeks now. He'll usually buy five at a time. This time he bought seven packages of gate latches. This is a, a like a gate latch for like a privacy fence type thing. He paid $119.63 with free shipping. And I was able to send them all in a medium flat rate box. Usually I'm able to do a, a regional A, but seven of them didn't fit in that this time. Five of them will, seven of them won't. So that's an amazing thing. I paid, um, this was another auction deal. I got a bunch of hardware. I think it was like 60 bucks for that palette. And I was like, oh my goodness, I overpaid. And they sat there forever. It was like probably six months before I made my first sale on that. But then they started moving one or two at a time. I was like, okay, this is going to take for freaking ever. And then Mr. Fifth Time Returning Customer showed up and he started weekly doing it. I'm almost out of them. I've got like 20 left. But uh, he's my favorite customer. I love this man. Thank you so much, Mr. Man. <laughs> anyway, uh, the next up is Mega Blocks, three pounds, three plus pounds. I had it listed, I think, at $10. This was something I picked up at a garage sale. Basically, this lady made me, she had like several tables full of toys and just some of them were vintage and stuff. And I was looking around and basically cherry picking things out. And she goes, you know what? I'm so sick of this. Give me 30 bucks. You can have all the toys. And I was like, $30 for all the toys? Really? I said, oh, that's a lot of sorting. And I started looking and I said, okay, you got a deal. So I gave her 30 bucks and she basically loaded our Suburban with toys. So I'm like, okay, cool. Her grandson was sitting there. He had his own little table. The, his toys weren't included. And I was like, this lady's cut me such a great deal. I walked over and we started buying basically everything from her grandson so he could have his own money. These blocks were part of it. 
I paid five dollars for these blocks. So I just basically watered them up and sold them for five bucks plus shipping. I just got my money back. It's no big deal. Buyer was all in at 1806. So yeah. Uh, the last sale, which just sold last night, actually, and I just listed it like Thursday, I think. It's one of my one or two listings for last week. Rock band USB four port um, connector thing. I think it's uh, V power or something like that. Uh, nine ninety nine with free shipping, so no big deal. That actually came with the rock band set that sold earlier in the week last week, so that's great. You know that was part of the twenty dollars, so there you go. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's about everything. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this. It's kind of just a throw together. I could do better in the future. I just uh, thought I might do this. I could actually show what I'm selling as I go. Whatever. Uh, this is an afterthought. I'm just bored. So anyway, if you like it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up or just say, hey, I liked it. Or don't ever do this again. You're boring the crap out of me. So, all right. Thanks for watching.